Dear Chief Weiner, congratulations on your upcoming retirement from the Dudley Police Department after 34 plus years of service this month. I learned that during your three and a half decades of duty, you have devoted yourself to the people of Dudley, Massachusetts by becoming a uh, dispatch reserve police officer in 1988, later a full-time patrolman in 1990, helping me to serve as chief of police for over 20 years. All the while, I was glad to hear uh, you were also steadfast in dedication to the New England Patriots. In addition, it has come to my attention you personally won your battle against colon cancer in 2014, and since then, you have focused your efforts to support cancer research. We are grateful for all your good work in the community. On behalf of our organization, we take great pride in representing New England, where the birth of our nation took place as the original Patriots fought here years ago to secure the very freedom we enjoy today. Your commitment to law enforcement reflects the spirit that guides the New England Patriots organization and their fans worldwide. You are a true patriot, and we salute you for the job well done. On behalf of the New England Patriots, best wishes for a well-deserved, relaxing, and rewarding retirement. Sincerely, Robert K. Kraft, the New England Patriots. <laughs> Saturday night in January to come out uh, just just for me. So I, I'm really humbled by that, and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's great to see you know, a lot of guys in the past. We had some time to reminisce. Uh, my my predecessor, a person I learned a lot from, who actually hired me, and took a chance on a guy like myself, uh, retired Chief Bill Proud is sitting over here. Um, <laughs> tremendous individual and a mentor. Um, what I had done was I was I was promoted to sergeant in April of 2002, and then uh, he was going to retire along with about five other guys from the department at the end of the year. So we held the chief's process, and I was going through that with uh, then Lieutenant Stevens, and I said to myself, "Well, this is great because you know I'll, I'll either be senior sergeant, lieutenant, because uh, Mike had a lot more time on than I did, and I'll just kind of ride the wave and do what I do." Then I got a phone call from Bill on a Monday morning. And he said, hey, if you're free tonight, come to the selectman's meeting, because Mike is not putting in for the job anymore, so we're going to give it to you. <laughs> and I called my wife, and I think she dropped her, uh, her, her face in her soup or something like that. And, I <laughs> and uh, I went in back into the office, and, uh, and we talked about it. So I spent nine months in the supervisory role coming into chief. And if it were not for Bill's dedication and helping me help the transition, uh, dealing with budgets and other things that you never paid attention to, but also, uh, we had six brand new patrolmen, we had brand new supervisors, we had the whole thing. And he spent a lot of time helping me transition into things going on. And I owe him a debt of gratitude for all the work that, uh, that he's done for me over the years. It was, it was really tremendous. <laughs> so it's great to see, uh, and I'm glad Merrick pointed it out, the, you know, all, the, all the guys that are here from the department, you know, present and past, uh, it's really been great. You know, I, I was reflecting back on my time and all the people I started with are no longer with the department. Everybody's, everybody's gone. I was the old guy. I started out, I was like 21 years old starting with the department, right? The young guy. Now I'm the old guy and everybody I started with is gone. So, but we've had that chance to kind of bring up on a real good group of people. And you're, as a leader, you're only as good as the people that serve under you. And uh, our folks do a really great job in the community and helping out with things and and conducting themselves in a professional manner that really puts us beyond a lot of places. We have a good reputation out there for things, and uh, you guys really deserve a lot of credit for that because you're out there doing it every day. And I thank you very much for everything you guys have done for me and for the department, for the community all those years. Thank you very much. So all, all the families here, so. Uh, uh, Chris, I don't know if I'm, I'm sure everybody said it. Uh, that's a miracle of YouTube. When I first started, there was no like cell phones. I still had a little pager thing and all that stuff. But now, between uh, all the things on online and everything else that you do, that whole thing from yesterday with that final send off um, it was out there. And I know uh, Christine did a great job with that because Joe wanted to do it, but his boss, Long Grable, was a real bastard and kept him working. <laughs> he couldn't do it, but, uh, uh, but he. Uh, he wrote a really, really uh, 
a really beautiful uh, tribute, and uh, I really appreciate everything that, that he's done for that. And very proud of him and Amber uh, and uh, everything they've done. And Christine did a great job with all that stuff there. She's been one that's been right there with me the whole time. Because like I said, when we get that word, I was 34 years old. i have been a supervisor for about nine months, and now you're going to be chief of police. And one of the first things I looked at, I said, Jesus, I got this for 20 years? What are you talking about? Oh, my God. But now 20 years have really gone by. You know, it wasn't always easy. Ran through a few different, you know, two snags along the way. Uh, no offense to the board of select, but I got a great group now. Back to back a few years ago, not so much. Uh, but, you know, you, I guess it's one of those things, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And, you know, that experience there was awful. But to have her, have her to support me and be somebody that was right there to help me get through all that stuff, I, I don't think I could have done it without her. So she's, uh, she's really been an asset in my life, so I thank you very much for that. So you can see everybody from the, uh, from the school department that came, uh, from the college, uh, again, my board of selectmen that, that are here, the town administrator, John Root, has been tremendous working with. Um, I really appreciate the support of them, because without, really without them, we wouldn't really be doing much, but they're always receptive to programs and ideas that we put forward. Uh, certainly, they, you know, they hold our feet to the fire. You gotta make sure you justify it. They just don't give stuff away. But you, you make sure if you, if you, if you present them with a good idea, a good program, they're there to back you up. And, uh, and we're gonna do our best to help out with the community with things like that. So uh, the board's been terrific. I really appreciate everything to all you guys. One of the best things that I had was the, the last day of the school yesterday, I saw uh, Jen, Jen Desto, the principal, is here from uh, Mason Road School, and her husband Greg. Uh, they brought me down yesterday to the Mason Road School. Kindergarten kids and first graders. I, I always said to anybody, if you ever want to have a good, if you're ever having a bad day, go have lunch with a kindergartner or a first grader <laughs> that's not your own. <laughs> You're gonna have the best time. I had some rough days, and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna pack up and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna have lunch with the kids down there. And you go sit down and you have your time, and it, it, it was really, really great. So they'd always, I, I hit them yesterday. I said, look, you gotta tell me some jokes. This is the last day. I need some jokes. You get jokes from kindergarten kids, right? The uh, one I got yesterday was, what do you call a witch that's on the beach? <laughs> a sandwich. There you go. <laughs> But the best joke I got of all time, and I wish I would have wrote the kid's name down because he said, why couldn't the toilet paper cross the road? It got stuck in a crack. <laughs> so we hung out with Merrick and uh, Dean Pawlowski and myself. We hung out yesterday for both of those lunches. The kids gave me a bunch of things. I've been going there, uh, for those who don't know, I've been going there for about 25 years, just doing a lunch program. Uh, Jim Zajac, a former sergeant of ours, his wife was a teacher there. They said, you know, it would be nice if they could just be a police officer every now and then, like kind of informal. You know, you're not showing up for a problem, but just informally. They said, why don't you come and have lunch with the kids? All right. So I was a patrolman. That was about 25 years ago. Started going in, just, just meeting them, having lunch, talking to the kids about different things. Um, and it's been a great time. And when I went through some, some challenges through, you know, with the cancer and everything a few years back, uh, who gave me the outpouring of stuff but all those kids from schools? And they all knew, it was kids in high school that had gone through when I was there having lunch with them. And they could remember those different things that were there. So you made that little impact on some kid along the way. Um, and it was really just, again, it's good for me and hopefully as it was for them. It was a, it was a really great program. So it was a real fitting way. So I thank, uh, I thank Chief Kotlowitz and, and Sergeant Kowalski for taking me down there and getting that, uh, getting that all going. Cause it was a really great way to have your last morning that you got to work out there with things. So I got the rest of the family here. The O'Connors, you can't sling a dead cat without hitting them because there's a whole crap over here. <laughs> uh, great group. And all, all the, also, too, all the Central Mass guys and the Mass Chiefs folks, uh, you know, thank, coming from Salisbury. The, Tom Fowler just had a swear in a few weeks back in, in Salisbury. And we were at this restaurant that's actually located over the ocean. And you know, you're looking at this thing, you're walking in, you go, holy cow. And there's all kinds of like carnival rides, and it's like a boardwalk, there's all this other stuff. You know, you're not in Dudley anymore, Toto. You know, that was it. <laughs> uh, but he's, he's exactly right. 
I, I took that opportunity to go up and, and run for a position and got it. And it was really one of the best experiences I've had as a chief, because I got to go around the entire state and meet everybody from the commissioner of Boston to the chief of police in Beckett, who was a single man, really full-time department. He was it, yeah, a couple part-time guys, you know, versus Boston, Springfield, Worcester, uh, you know, New Bedford, all the Cape chiefs. But you found out everybody, every community is a little different, but we all do the same job. And it was a real camaraderie that we developed with all those things. And working through a couple of things, you know, the unfortunate thing is I had two police officers that were, that were shot and killed during the, my tenure as, as president. And then we had to deal with the, you know, tra we, had to, we had some training money done. Uh, I'm forever uh, on Elizabeth Warren's Christmas card list as a result of uh, sending her a thank you note and everything uh, for being so supportive of police departments. Um, but, you know, I, I, learned, I learned a great deal, but the, the camaraderie and the, the amount of stuff you learned being with those folks was unbelievable. It, it was a humbling thing for you to say, if you ever think you're the smartest guy in the room, go hang out with him for about five minutes and you're going to be proven wrong. It's going to knock you right back down. So I was very glad to be surrounded by a lot of smart people that really helped out a lot through the years. Um, so it's, that's been, that was a tremendous, tremendous experience for me. And I also see my good friends from Grafton, as you mentioned, the, the Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame was mentioned, so that was interesting. Uh, my whole crew over there, from all my buddies from high school, that when you look back on it, you say, how many, how many friends do you really have from high school that you see on any consistent basis? But we've been getting together fairly regularly for a lot of years, and uh, it's been great to have their, their support, their friendship along the way. Um, I always, it's, it's funny now, if I watch the, the NFL playoffs, I say, hey, Steve Spagnola is the defensive coordinator from the Chiefs. Yeah, fellow Hall of Famer, go figure. You know? <laughs> we'll go hang out and have lunch or something after if you know, we're all done. But, uh, but it's great to have you, know, have you guys here and everything like that. Uh, all the folks from, again, all over, all over the area, I wish I could personally you know, thank you again. If I haven't seen you, I'm going to try get to get to see you for the rest of the night. But um, it was really a great experience. The time has gone, the time has flown by. Um, I've had that chance again over the last few weeks to kind of reminisce on things and look at stuff. Uh, I really, as a kid, I said this would be a great job. My dad, my dad Walt is here, my brother Pete and his wife Elaine. Uh, we interviewed the whole time. And, you know, we're talking Patriots. My, my dad was friends with Chief Kernan, the old chief from Grafton, and, and Russ Messier, who turned into a chief at one point as a sergeant. They used to go to the football games. So he says, hey, you got some free tickets, Steve will go, all right. So I'd be playing football on a Saturday morning and Chief Turner come up, hey, you wanna go to the game tomorrow? Sure, okay, off we go. That's how I got started doing that stuff, going down to the games. And dad went down with me for a while, we started doing all that stuff. Um, and it was really, a, it was one of those things that kind of got, got you introduced to meeting these, these folks as police officers, but kind of on an informal basis. And you learned about the job and became interested. And they were there to support me the whole way through. Going right through the getting high in the police academy and, and everything else to, to where I am. And uh, so you always look at things if you ever go through tough times in life, and, uh, and I, I mentioned this to America as well, even tough times in the job, you're going to find out very quickly who your friends are and who's your support staff that you have with you. And so I was very fortunate to have again great wife, kids, family, my brother, my dad. My mom unfortunately passed last year. Uh, but again, they're two great, I couldn't ask for better parents, really, uh, going through life. You know, we always, we look back, we always had a little conflict with our parents growing up because they didn't know what the hell they were talking about. <laughs> then we become parents ourselves and realize, geez, they had it pretty straight, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but I, I, like I, said, I couldn't, I couldn't have done any better than that. Than that. <laughs> but, uh, so thank you again. I don't, I don't want to hold up, uh, hold up time, but. The town is in very good hands. Um, Merrick here has been a lifelong resident of town. Came over from Poland when he was about nine years old. Seven years old, okay, that was a couple years old. Seven years old, came over from Poland. Didn't speak a word of English. Uh, came through, went through the school system. He's gone on to get his, his master's degree now uh, with things. Worked in town with his family, delivering newspapers, selling videos at Peter's video store and everything like that. Um, but has worked his way right through things. And he even went through a few, a few occasions where he was bypassed with some appointments and, and that stuff. But instead of, you know, like some people could pick up your bat and ball and go home, 
He took that and ran and said, what can I do for the next time to improve myself? How do I get better? And he's had a constant drive ever since I've known him. And so uh, it, it's, it's good for me knowing that uh, when you when you get something, you work a career, you just want to leave it a little bit better than you found. And hopefully that's what I did. But it's, it's really credit to Merrick and the rest of the guys that are going through that are really going to be able to move this department forward into the future. Uh, so I have all the, the full amount of confidence in the world that the pounds are in good hands. I can go off and do, do something else now for a while. But uh, yeah, really, everything is going to go well for the, for the citizens of Dudley. And I couldn't be proud of that. So thank you again for